Hey guys, good afternoon. This is Stephen Howard, my dog Yucca, and yeah, Rio's in the other room with Lori. Um, just having a smoke and having a little Florence coffee. Um, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, so I usually have a coffee or I have a nap. So yesterday I had a nap, today I'm having coffee. Um, what I wanted to talk about today is... Um, you know, when you when you start vibing high and you um, you start, uh, you know, emitting positive vibration on a spiritual level, um, it it attracts other people's demons, I guess, or it brings other people's demons out or they like to tag you and say you're this or you're that or um you know, there's a lot of things that people do to try and dim your light. And um, the fact of the matter is no one can dim your light but you. And for years and years, whether it's family, friends, loved ones, or otherwise, or acquaintances, uh, you've dimmed your light for some people. And sometimes you've done it uh, as a result of what someone said or done or how they've acted towards you or whatever and uh you know truth be told um don't do that don't ever dim your light for anybody you need to be shining at 111 percent and do it uh do it all the time you know uh wherever you go whatever you you do and you'll find that instead of people doing that malarkey behind your back people will actually be like you know that every time I see that guy, he lifts my spirits or he says something that's hella funny and it ties into something else. And that's the light. That's the connection. And that's what people try to dim uh, your connection to others and your connection to the chi, the life force, the the sun, the the power, the, the shining light out there that's uh, pretty much 24-7 even when it shines through the moon. So that being said, uh, I hope you got the point today. The point is don't dim your light for anyone. Keep shining. Keep doing the best that you can do. Um, you know, if, if you can pay your car payment and then you can pay part of your rent and you can still make it through another week and a half. You're doing pretty good. And the fact of the matter is, uh, you know, anything that comes above and beyond that is a blessing. And, um, you know, just to have a place to stay, have food in my stomach and uh, warm clothing and uh, water and jugs and you know, all the things that it takes to live off grid and to live in a cabin in Montana. It really is a, truly a blessing. So, um, you know, make sure you, you give it back and you shine back to the universe. Uh, help people out, even if they're being miserable or having some sort of issue. Try and keep helping people out and keep doing your best and keep yourself happy and intact um you know if you have to go blow off some steam go out and blow off some steam and do it in a productive way you know do something good for yourself do something good for others you know um there's a lot of ways to have an outlet it takes as little as five minutes to walk outside and get on track get on vibration and listen to some music and the right vibing music and it will just change your whole outlook on everything which will change your demeanor which will change what you attract and will change hopefully uh, what other people are putting your way uh, so there's the, the deep channel there's the the point um, yuck is asleep i'm sure i put a few people asleep you can always play play my stuff while you're resting or meditating. I generally don't do anything too loud on my videos. So you should be able to continue to meditate and think about being positive uh, before you go to sleep or whatever. 
Uh, it's a beautiful day out in Montana. It's about uh, 36 degrees. It snowed last night and already melted off a bit. It's been doing that the past couple nights and we haven't gotten any real snow to stick, but it is definitely helping with the springtime and making everything green. Make sure you keep collecting water, keep uh, doing your chores and staying up with things and keeping your space and your your mind clean and uh, I assure you good things really really good things are coming this year um, everybody's freaking out about April 8th that there's a solar eclipse and it's just gonna peel our technology right off the planet and there's gonna be big integral problems I assure you if they use that as an excuse it's just a big show and that show is uh, in order for us to freak out and buy a lot of stuff we don't need and do a lot of things that are a waste of, uh, of resources and energy just to drive more uh, economic result and keep them, uh, keep them fat for the summer. So uh, I hope you guys will, will listen and take heed. You can be supplied, you know, Lori and I have about a month worth of food here if we were on rations. And uh, we have a, a couple other things here and it, it's just enough to make it through a section if things got sketchy. Um, and then there's things that you can do, you know, uh, to prepare uh, for the next month and the next month and so on. You don't have to have, you know, a six-month supply like everybody's saying. Uh, there are going to be resources. There, there still is trucks on the way. So um, just remember that. Um, I think the last point I wanted to say was um, as we go into retrograde again, realize that retrograde could be excellent time for planning. And what I mean by that is whether you're going to start a small business, whether you're going to put something together for the next year for 2025, uh, you know, when are you going to launch? How much is it going to cost? It takes a lot of work to put a small business or something together and it takes planning and coordination. So, um, it would probably take me somewhere between three to six months to plan and put something into effect. And then once it was in effect, uh, what would it take from you daily? So, you know, you have to remember most jobs and most everything is nine to five. And if you own your own business, it's more like nine to nine. So uh, that's a big commitment. Um, then you can decide to work for others and, you know, try and get a promotion or try and get a a raise or you know reach a new level when you when you pull up you're in a different um, mindset and so instead of being desperate for a job maybe make them kind of desperate to hire you and um, see how that goes anyway um, aside from that the cabin is in good shape <laughs> done some straightening I guess the stove needed to be pulled out but I did some straightening of the chimney uh, got some old skis up there and my paddle and our pots and pans all of our collectibles it looks like a little secondhand shop in here and then uh, weaponry crossbow stuff like that uh, extra water that is always good and then uh, Our kitchen, we just finished breakfast and all of that. Uh, lining your stove with aluminum foil is really cool because it keeps kind of the mess off. And you can just peel that up and it's clean underneath. Then you put another one down. And uh, I think it's time for some board games or some puzzles. So I think I'm going to try and buy some of those uh, coming up soon. And uh, if you can't get a bottle of wine, they got these new wine boxes. These are pretty cool. You can take those on the river with you. You can take them backpacking. You can go 
if you go skiing you can take the bag out and put it in your pack and it won't pop and i remember uh laurie remembers back in the day the the boda bags oh, when you yeah. went skiing I had one. and so we found this one i think it's right here yeah it's not really a boda bag it's more like a boda yeah boda canteen mine was made with a deer skin yeah, they, they were deer skin, and they were like a bladder, and you could take them and, uh, and do that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're just chilling. Lori's not feeling too well today, so I hope you would say a little prayer for her stomach. And uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day. You talk, Miss Betty. <laughs> you talk about the wine in a box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little hangover. I don't know. Anyway, we got some old uh, their music boxes. These are really cool. So I don't know if you can see. I'll try to do it like this. So the old music. Wind that up. Plays over the rainbow. And Grant's painting of an elk and a little cactus. And a little robin box. The legend of the robin. Hope, peace, love, and faith. This house is full of love laughter and strong coffee <laughs> and i'll show you some ski photos these are pretty cool the snowboarder and skiers grant's didgeridoo and staff grand teton i got that for four bucks our barometer, serenity prayer, and Native American blessing, and uh, Lord's blessing. Girls just gotta love wine, and home is where the heart is. Always gotta have a little Jameson and Pendleton around. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, just chilling. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon in the cabin and uh, really nice outside. I always feel blessed living here because you walk outside and you get to see just beauty everywhere if you listen all you can hear is the wind in the trees maybe a chime of a wind chime flap of a flag pop of a fire I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon. See ya.